So today we're in the editing studio where all these videos take place and we're gonna be making some fan art, I guess you could say, for Eric Porter. He's one of my favorite YouTubers and he we're gonna be making one for him and his two kids I wanna put in there. I ended up not doing this. Two, like jumping with him, I think that'd be cool. But first we have to rewind a little bit. A while back I started doing photoshops for some of my Instagram followers and favorite YouTubers. And following my Instagram isn't a bad idea because obviously you get previews on all of these kind of videos. One of those was this. It's not my best work at all, but Eric still saw it. And we agreed that he could do it non-photoshopped. That tears apart the idea of Photoshop. In this tour way, I mean, so we have to make him another one that's better. So now that you're all cut up, so let's get started. So this took easily half the project to find the photo of him photoshopping in. So I wanted it to be a backflip or a tail whip and I settled on a tail whip, but I spent a long time searching for the right tail whip that was at the right angle that was easy to remove the background for. And then I found this video. It's from Seth's airbag video and it's him doing a perfect tail whip, but it's a little grainy so we have to find the right place. So I turned the quality all the way up and the playback speed really down so we can get the right angle. It's really choppy, but you end up getting a good shot. It took a while to get the right shot, but I eventually got it. Okay, I think I like where I'm at right here. You can see it. It looks pretty good. Um, I like where it's at, and I think I, the background will be easier to move because you can just see the sky, and I can and I patch it in there, and I think it will look pretty good. So let's get started removing the background and then we'll have to find a jump that he's doing a tail up off of. Well, the process where I really removed the background didn't work, but I ended up screen recording here where we have to work on the back wheel. So that's what this time lapse is about. I wish I'd gotten the entire background, but it didn't work out. It doesn't look amazing, but we end up shrinking it a lot, so it doesn't really matter. I didn't leave the chain in there, which I wish I did, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we quickly did that. I like what we have now. I think I could make it better, but I'm, I'm gonna shrink it a lot more so I don't think I really have to. So I think I'm gonna put this in there, find the image I want. I don't know what I really want yet. And then we're gonna get started like making it all work. Okay, so we're gonna be setting this up for Instagram. So your dimensions for Instagram are 1080 width and 13, or, 1350 height so it fits for that Instagram algorithm. Okay, so I have everything set up here. I'm just gonna get him in here first. So we have him there, you can see that. The back wheel does not look that bad, as you can tell, because it's zoomed in a lot. And then we're gonna get a image, which is one of the hardest parts of doing this stuff. It actually fits him doing that trick, which is really hard. I actually like to look up for Red Bull ones. I find that looks cool and they're big jumps. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'll find one, put him in there, make everything look good, and then we'll see if he sees it. Okay, so one of the first, one of the first images I find I think works. So it's from the Red Bull Ram Trade 2016. 2016 was a crazy year. I actually remember watching this, and it's, I don't even know who writer that is, which writer that is, but I mean, they're doing a huge rock drop, so it's insane. But Eric Porter, right there, would fit in perfectly right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this image. We're gonna throw it in here. Get low. Boom, we're gonna layer it down here. And we're gonna get started. So I started off resizing Eric Porter to the other writer's height and where he is in terms of the jump. So then I'm ready to take out the other writer and I resize the image so it stretched all the way down there was no white space it doesn't look the best stretched all the way out but it looks better when the writer's not in there after taking out the other writer i had eric porter in there but i forgot where i had him so i took 
around, got the image again, and I copied it back into the editor so I could see where he was. I layered it back down so the other background would show, and then I worked Eric Porter to get all the sizing right. So, I just finished, or what I think is finished. I like how it turned out, it looks pretty good. It was actually pretty quick because it didn't need to be changed a lot because the background for both of them was pretty simple. Probably only took me about 30 minutes. And I like how it turned out. We're gonna send it to Eric and yeah okay so i just sent it over to him we're gonna check back in tomorrow to see if he liked it or even saw it you guys will know in a few seconds but let's head over there right now so eric saw it i'm um, super happy with how it turned out it looks really good you can see the original here and then the non-original here it's photoshop and i think it looks pretty good so make sure you like subscribe and comment who i should do next because i want to do someone else and I think it'd be cool to hear what you guys want. And just an update for the five questions interviews. I have three awesome episodes coming that'll be coming in the next three months, but I want to stage them out a little bit more. But that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe.